Hello everybody, welcome back to the 3D Critic channel. I'm David, your host, and today I'm going to give you guys my performance review on the Air Jordan 38s. Now, to start things off for you guys, they retail for a whopping $200 right now on Nike's website, which is a $20 increase compared to the Jordan 37s. So there are uh, some significant changes to the design overall, and I'm gonna break it down with you uh, as I go along the video. But if you guys are interested in uh, purchasing yourself a pair of the Jordan 38s, I will leave a link in the description box below. Now, when it comes to the traction, it features a full length translucent outsole with a multi-directional herringbone traction pattern. Now, in my experience, the traction is really grippy on a clean court. When it came to the lateral movements, it was really grippy when I was moving from a side to side, whether I was getting open for a shot and uh, cutting to the basket as well. When it came to being a primary defender, it was really good when I was uh, staying toe to toe with whoever I was guarding. And it is really good when it comes to quick changes of direction as well. I was able to change directions really quickly with this and it was very responsive as a result because of that. When it came to vertical movements, the hard stops are really good as well. When it came to stopping on a dime, it literally stops on a dime. And I was able to uh, be able to get a quick uh, pull up jump shot and uh, try to uh, get a quick first step as well. The uh, first step on this is really nice and quick. That way you are open instantly when you are trying to get a layup and uh, uh, when you're cutting down to the basket. And I really enjoyed the uh, traction setup overall because of that. However, in a dusty setting, it does pick up dust a little bit. And when it picks up dust, it uh, slides a little bit on you and you'll have to uh, consistently wipe. But the uh, dust doesn't uh, stick to it. So with uh, one or two wipes, you should be good to go and you will get the uh, best traction uh, out of here. And now getting into the durability, it is overall uh, holding up pretty well in the main sections of the traction pattern. However, when you get to the edges of it, you are going to see some fraying uh, right here. And that is mainly the only sign of wear that I've experienced overall, just mainly on the edges of the traction pattern right here, as well as on the other side right here. So um i would be cautious to play in these outdoors considering that the uh, rubber itself is pliable overall so i'll be cautious to play that outdoors as a result but indoors you should be good to go i've had a good bit of playing time in these and this is the only sign of wear that i've experienced out of this whole traction setup so you should be good to go outdoors but be cautious when you play in these outdoors so the traction overall for me i'm going to give it a nine out of ten now moving along to the cushion, you are going to get a full length zoom strobe unit and right underneath it, this red foam is a Cushlon 3.0 and right underneath it, you're going to get an X plate that extends to the forefoot section on the lateral and medial side of the shoe and it extends to the back of the midfoot as well in the lateral as well as in the medial side of the shoe. Now, when it comes to the cushion, in my experience, it was a uh, really nice and a uh, really energetic uh, in my experience. When it came to the forefoot cushioning, it was really responsive and I was able to be really uh, contestant with people's shots and trying to block people's shots as well. Getting steals uh, was uh, really frequent as well. I was uh, moving around a lot and in turn, I was causing a lot of havoc on the court. And when it came to explosiveness, it was really effortless when it came down to uh, generating air while you jump and getting rebounds. Accompanied with the X-Bar and the uh, responsiveness, you are able to jump really high and uh, try to block people's shots and uh, try to get rebounds as well. It was really easy and because of the responsiveness, it was um, really energetic and it felt like I was jumping on a trampoline every single time I was jumping. And that helps a lot when you are trying to uh, react to people's pump fakes, whether you're uh, up on the uh, perimeter as well as down low. And I really enjoyed that overall because of that. And when it came to the uh, heel cushioning, the impact protection is really good as well. When it came to heel strikes, it was uh, really comfortable overall and I didn't experience any uh, aching in my back. It's also really compressed that way. It has a good bit of give when uh, you are uh, going uh, with each stride. And uh, it is a little firm uh, considering that it is a really a springy cushioning setup overall because of the Zoom Strobel as well as the Cushlon. It is overall um, really nice and well balanced overall. And when it came to the heel to toe transition, it is really nice and smooth. And every single stride that I took was really nice and fluid. And I felt really fast on the court 
considering how explosive and responsive the four foot cushioning is. And I really enjoyed that overall. And because of that, I'm going to give it a nine and a half out of 10. Now getting into the materials, you're going to get a bunch of uh, synthetic leather here in the forefoot section, as well as the shoe line area here. And you're gonna get a little section of synthetic leather in the heel as well. And when it comes to the rest of the shoe, you're going to get some uh, quilted uh, nubuck patterns here with strands here as well in the lateral and medial side of the shoe. And when you get to the tongue, it is completely made of neoprene with a bunch of holes in the midfoot section. And when you get to the top, you can see double padding here as well. And the X plate that you see right here is uh, completely made out of plastic with a bunch of dots here. In the lateral side, there is 38 dots resembling the uh, number of the signature shoe line of Jordan. And on the other side, it is uh, 23 dots for obvious reasons. Overall, the material on foot is actually really nice and comfortable when uh, you uh, start to break it in a little bit. It's really nice and uh, comfortable in the uh, forefoot as well as in the midfoot. I didn't experience any pinching from the uh, midfoot area as well as in the forefoot. And there's a good bit of uh, flexibility that way you won't experience any pinching at all on the foot. And the back of the shoe is uh, nicely padded and I didn't experience any pinching in the uh, back of the shoe as well. So overall, I like the uh, material of the shoe. It is really durable overall as well. And the overall synthetic I like as well compared to the uh, Jordan 37s in my opinion. The 37s felt uh, really cheap uh, considering the price tag, but this is a definite upgrade to the 37s. And I really enjoy the uh, materials in the 38s as well. And I really like the overall silhouette. So because of that, I'm going to give the materials a 10 out of 10. So when it comes to the fit, for me, I would personally go down half a size because the uh, length of the shoe runs a little long and there's uh, about a finger's width of space in the toe box as a result of that. But the width overall is a uh, nice and snug and I wasn't uh, moving around when it came from a side to side movement. But the uh, fact that there's a good bit of a uh, dead space in the toe box resulted in me in uh, stubbing my toe when I was doing hard stops as a result. And I was a little uncomfortable because of that. But laterally, you're going to be uh, all set because of that, because of how snug the uh, width of the shoe is. So for me, I would go down half a size. If you are a narrow foot, go down a full size in that respect. And if you're a wide footer, I recommend that you go up half a size as well. So overall, the fit for me, I would give it a seven and a half out of 10. When it comes to lockdown in the forefoot, because of the uh, snug fit width wise, you're not going to move from side to side in the uh, footbed but you will experience some uh, sliding when it comes to a uh, vertical movements and hard stops. You will move slightly forward and uh, stub your toe a little bit because of that. However, once you move along to the midfoot, this uh, cable system that is integrated with the uh, material itself gives it a really nice uh, snug feel. That way you are wrapped into place in the midfoot and you won't move around in the midfoot because of that. And when you get to the heel, because it is a high top, it wraps around the ankle really well. That way you won't experience uh, any heel slippage as a result of that. And uh, overall, the lockdown is pretty good aside from the uh, uh, dead space that you get from the uh, toe box because of how long the shoe runs as a result. So overall lockdown for me, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. Now moving along to the support, you're going to get a, a nice wide stable base. That way you are standing on your own two feet at all times. And on the uh, side, you're going to get a protruding outrigger right here with a smaller one uh, closer to the uh, forefoot as well. And for lateral stability in the forefoot, you're going to get this plastic piece that is from the uh, X bar and it helps cradle the foot. That way you won't uh, experience uh, any ankle rolls as a result. And the uh, other side of the X plate uh, wraps all the way up to the material a little bit here, which helps with the overall lateral support as well. And because it is a uh, shank, it helps with the overall torsional support as well. It is uh, really nice and well balanced overall inside the shoe and I didn't experience uh, any instability because of that. And the overall material is uh, really nice and supportive, especially in the back. It is uh, nice and sturdy with the uh, new buck material here. And the material itself doesn't uh, give out on you as much when you uh, put force into it. So you'll be a uh, really supportive uh, when it comes to the materials. And in the back, you're going to get a 
nice rugged internal TPU heel counter. That way you won't experience uh, any uh, movement in the heel when you're going from side to side in the shoe. So the support overall on this shoe was really nice on uh, all fronts with the uh, wide stable base, accompanied with the uh, uh, outrigger, with the X-Bar, giving it a really good support. That way you won't experience uh, any ankle rolls as a result when you are contorting uh, your feet, when you are changing uh, directions as well. And the uh, X-Bar in the uh, midfoot as well helps with the overall lateral support and torsional stability as well. It was really uh, well balanced uh, regardless of the uh, angles that I was in when I was uh, playing in this. And the internal TPU heel counter as well, I didn't experience uh, any um, heel sliding inside the shoe and I was uh, able to stay in the shoe at all times because of that. It was uh, surprisingly stable overall and I was really happy with that as a result. And because of that, I'm going to give the support a 10 out of 10. So to sum everything up for you guys, this is a really nice shoe to play in, in my opinion. I really enjoyed this shoe when I was playing in it. The traction was really nice. The cushion was uh, surprisingly really good overall and really bouncy, effortlessly bouncy in my opinion. The overall material and aesthetics of it is really nice and overall and is a significant upgrade compared to the Jordan 37s that I uh, tried earlier. And the uh, overall lockdown and the support is uh, top notch in my opinion overall. It gives you the confidence to do anything on the court and you are really fast when you are doing it as well. And I really enjoyed playing in this overall. And I would absolutely recommend it to you guys over the uh, 37s in that respect. It is a little pricey considering it costs $200. But with the uh, material build and everything that you get along with that, uh, totally makes up for it. And it is a really a well-rounded basketball shoe as a result. And uh, that is my review on the Jordan 38s. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below on your thoughts on the Jordan 38s, any experiences that you have had with them so far, as well as your thoughts on the uh, Jordan 37s as well. And give me uh, your thoughts on which one is better, the 37 or the 38 in your opinion, along with any other questions that you might have for me as well. If you would like to support this channel, I recommend that you hit the subscribe button down below. It is greatly appreciated as always. I appreciate the support to help this channel grow. If you want to follow me on uh, my Instagram as well as uh, TikTok, I will leave that information in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I hope this was beneficial to you guys. And until next time, keep shooting.